up there, guys? All right, I don't know if it was recording, so just uh, if you got the weird face, I'm sorry. But uh, here we go. This is the 30 series twerk converter compared to a $196 40 series twerk converter. Now, this one I am in love with. Okay? Let's give you a size comparison. See my hand? That's the size of my hand. Now, if you come over here, that's not really the size of my hand. It's smaller. So, but somebody said that I should put this one on that one. But I was like, that would be scary. So, but right now, this is what I'm doing. I put that one up there just to, sh I'm taking it off right now, but I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of what they all gave me with both of them. But it's going to be split right down the middle. All right? Swag, bitch. So the size comparison on these things is massive. Massive. Okay? 30 series belt. 40 series belt. Boom. That's twice the size of the actual fucking belt. On the 30 series. So I'm kind of glad I bought it. So that's 30 series. Uh, I would guess you could call it your clutch. This is the actual clutch. One piece, one key of an item. This is your case. This is your case. This has no cutout in it, so you have to cut it out. This already has a cutout in it for the chain. So this had to go that way on the motor. This has to go this way on the motor. The motor, I am going to show you what the size difference and what the, the cheap one, the 30 series, gave me to put on the, the motor with. Oh, fuck. Damn it, sorry guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm trying to balance this off my phone and shit, but it, it might work, it might not. I don't know. So, right now, I had to check if it was recording. So, right now, this is the 30 series torque converter, the cheap ass one that you get off of Amazon or anything. So, you have this part that goes on first. It has to go into the key exactly, slide it to the back, or wherever your panel is, depending on how far it comes off the motor. Then this is like three different parts. But this, I just put it together so it's easier. This goes on here like this, and it slides on that air like that. Now, you have to adjust it. Well, I'll give you this little piece right here to put over top of this and put this bolt in. Well, this ain't, this ain't a bolt for a one inch, yeah, a three, a three quarter shaft on a Predator 3, 130, 100, 301cc engine. This is meant for like a 212. But I know back in the day they used to change up the bolt hole size. So this you will need to get a 17, 7 16 bolt for this to go on this motor. Now however, if this breaks you have to buy a new one of these. If this breaks you have to buy a new one of these. And it is a bitch to pull this fucking one off. When it is on there bolted on. So this is what I did. It, I'm not going to say the, you know, it, but it's rigged. If anybody gets what I'm saying. I rigged it up. To where it was three washers and this bolt. And you can see this 87 16 bolts, and you can see where it's sort of threaded, where it's stripped the threads. So I had to break the threads inside here for this to screw on to this. So I said to myself, I'm not gonna do this the wrong way. I'm gonna go out and buy a 40 series twerk convert. And in one second, I'll show you how to put on the second one. Now, compared to the 30 series, they give you this. Now this, in the size comparison of it now, this is your bolt. Sorry, this is your bolt for your, your, your $30 torque converter. That is your bolt. That is 7 sixteenths for the proper shaft on the engine itself. And these are your two shims. This one is the 30 series. This one is the 
I'm sorry, 40 series, 30 series. So obviously there's a lot that goes into it. They gave me a lot of washers to shim it out to make sure it's adjusted. This, this 30 series, I didn't get nothing. Now, this 40 series, it's one piece. I don't have to worry about anything falling out, anything breaking or whatever. Okay, the key in here, if I set this up properly, it slides right in. It's not a thick key, it's a very small key. Take your 7 16 bolt, take your shim that they gave you with it, put that in there, put the bolt in here like this, and start, you know, screwing it down. This goes all the way down, but you have to remember, this bolt is very long. It will not screw all the way, maybe it will. Yeah, okay, so that's as far as you're going So your panel sticks out of probably a finger's length of thickness out of the side of the engine. Sorry, that was getting annoying. So, now all you have to do is remove this if you have a problem or you can't put your belt on. Remove the bolt. It's going to take a while. Video is at four minutes. So take it off. Boom. One piece. That's all. I will probably never buy one of those again, but I'm probably going to put that on like a little 212. Put it on another go-kart. Because I got this thing I've been cooking up for a while, and I think you all know what it is. I don't know. If you've been on my Instagram, you would have seen it. But if you're not, go check out my Instagram. Now, I'm just setting up the uh, 40 series twerk converter. As you can see, there's a lot of room there. All right, so you're gonna put this up to the air. There's gonna be four holes on it. You're gonna line the four holes up just like the way I'm doing. Boom, that's how you're gonna go, right there. All right, I got a little resistance, but I think it's because it's not, I, I'm supposed, it's, it's a stock Predator 212, so I have to do a little bit of modification to the actual plate itself, but that's about it. All right, now wait a minute. But wait a minute here. Shouldn't the small one fit onto the big, big engine? I don't know, let's see here. Is this the proper way it goes? Yes it is, it goes straight to the back here. It's supposed to go like this onto the engine, a little bit angled. And it has all these holes here so I can move it around and get it fit on here. Well, let's see here. Up, up, it's hitting, let's see what it's hitting. It's hitting this right here. It's hitting this down here. This little oil flow right here. So you're gonna have to bolt that off, cut this off, or cut this off, make this modification, and do a whole bunch of different shit that you don't wanna do. Well, 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 I can put it down here like this. Well, then you're hitting your engine, and your engine's gonna be fucking going down, and then you get all that dirt and water. Well, what if I put it right here? Well, if you put it right here where it originally was, that means it'd be running backwards and your chain would be longer than what it needs to be. Well, you can honestly run this, but it would be too much power for this torque converter for the actual stock governor to engage. The, the stock governor will engage with a regular 30 series torque converter. With a 40 series torque converter, on a 301, the stock governor will not engage. I had a two, 196 Baja Warrior mini bike. I put a torque converter on it. The warrior, the warrior, well, the motor never engaged the governor. When I had the chain on it, it engaged the governor all the time. But when I had the torque converter, the governor was never engaged. So this engine right here, if I'm correct, let me slide it out a little bit more. The crush is my, you know, area. That's going to be a bad time. But uh, technically, could you put it like this? Well, yeah, you could put it like this, but it's probably going to be a really hassle of a time and not really supposed to go like that. It's supposed to go on the engine just like this. So your chain, your motor is spinning this way. It's spinning this way. Your chain is spinning this way. So it is pushing your wheels this way. You flip the motor around or anything like that, and your chain will be going in reverse. So have a good time going back into the future. <laughs> that was a good reference. But, um... Yeah, so, and then sometimes, when you got your twerk converter perfectly fine, 
you would have to um, you would have to shim this out for that gear so the chain wouldn't be rubbing up against. Because when you have a 40 series chain, it rubs up against the torque converter and starts burning the chain out. Um, I was lucky. I started burning the plate. Never broke the chain. Somehow, don't don't quote me on this. Somehow, it did not break the chain. But uh, I'm gonna get the uh, 40 series set up on here and show you guys how it's going. Right now, that's looking awesome, but I gotta get it modified a little bit to put it on. Hi guys. So, this is the definite problem. This is called a lab 40 series. Lab work torque converter 40 series. Okay, so it is a 40 series torque converter, but it's just lab work. So I don't know what the lab work stands for, but it's just a website I bought it off says it's lab work. Well, on any regular 40 series, this pulley should be here. This should be here. So you see the problem I'm having, right? Y'all y'all see this uh, where how it's, you know, this is here and that's supposed to be right there. But I don't know how far I can bring that out and that's that's how far it would have to come out off that. So I don't know if that's supposed to happen like that or what, but um, that's going to be rigged rigged. But then the case, however, it shows like how this is on here and how far that pulley comes out. So it's like, it's like 50% right and 50% wrong. So like I'm not even sure. But um, yeah. So basically, this is the 40 sprocket. There is a uh, thir no 40 40 uh, 40 series chain sprocket on here. Uh, they do give you a 35 uh, chain sprocket to go on there, but um, I want to be safe so the chain doesn't snap. But um, yeah, right now I'm just trying to figure out how I should get this on here and bolt this up without me dying. So right now I'm configuring out something to do. So yeah. Alrighty guys. Um, pretty much it's a simple process but it's how to put on a 40 series torque converter uh, onto your 301 Predator. It will fit as well as has to be a 40 series not one of your little dumbass 30 series which is over there in the box. Um, little cheap Chinese ones. You're gonna have to spend like hundred to three hundred dollars okay if you want a good one with the with the extra holes in it to move wherever the hell you want that is a good that is a good three hundred dollars right there but this one right here uh this is the problem that i'm having with this one so you guys will probably see what i'm gonna do hey there guys if you made it to this far of the video thank you for making it this far i do appreciate you but um anyway so the problem that i'm having on the 40 series torque converter onto the engine that i'm showing you is my sprocket is here, my pulley is here. Well, the drive clutch would have to slide way out to here. Well, I flipped these two in the next video that you're going to see. So, bear with me here. Um, well, it should be this way. I don't know if it's this way or that way. But anyway, the video uh, the, the, in the video you're going to see is I'm going to put the sprocket to the outside. Well, the only problem I have with that is I want the chain to be inside of the go-kart. So, here's the frame of the go-kart. Here's my tire. And... Here's the actual, this is the pulley, I had everything lined up right here. So, you have this over here where this is the sprocket. Well, this hangs over to where the tire is. Now, yes, I could move the sprocket over from the middle of the go-kart to the end of the go-kart. But do I want to do that? No. It would make everything a lot more easier to access. Just take the hub off, just take the sprocket off, and boom, bing, bang, boom, done. But no. The only problem was, I the second problem I had was, where the crankshaft would sit, where the uh, torque converter goes over, or drive clutch, or whatever you want to consider that, it would be hitting the frame of the go kart. So I am doing centrifugal clutch. Uh, the bolt that I have for it that has the right um, amount of to thread into the actual um, crankshaft, I have to go to Pep Boys or Napa to find that. But right now I've been to Pep Boys and Napa, and they haven't had the bolt. So I'm going to either have to order it online or I'm going to have to call up Go Power Sports and see if they can help me out. Um, I 
if um, you guys have any um, kind of clues or any questions about the 30 series compared to the 40 series, um, all I know is a 30 series on a 196cc motor and also on a 212 Predator or Tilston. If you, if it's stage two and you have it to where it is um, worked, where you can mess with the uh, the the governor engaging different, I would do that because on my original mini bike I had a thirty series torque converter went on perfectly. Um, I didn't have no problem with it. I put it on there; it was perfectly fine. I ran it, just floored man, it flew like a mullet humper. But um, yeah, I just I. <sighs> I just never engaged the torque converter, so that's why I went with the 40 series. Because I was going to get a 30 series and put it on there, but then, you know, then I have the problem of the the RPM over the belt. Would it just shred the belt up and blow it all apart, or would it hold together long enough? Well, that is my dilemma. 40 series, however, um, I am going to be doing a thorough more video of that if I do more go kart videos. Um, I will be having one coming out right after this video gets posted. Uh, it's the go karts called the Second Amendment. Backstory, just bear with me here. It's gonna be a long story, <laughs> but anyway. Um, thank you for guys making it to this part of the video. Thank you for 900 subscribers, and also thank you for watching my content and giving me all the confidence that I need to keep making these videos and do what I need to do. And here we go. Hey there, guys. Okay, so. I was very pondering on what was going on with the twerk already the other night. Basically what has to happen is this sprocket has to be on the outside here for this to perfectly line up inside there. Yes, I might have to put a shim or two just to get that to go like right there. So that looks perfect right there. But yet again, it also looks good there and straight. Like if I tension if I put tension on the belt, it looks like it'll stay straight. But you have to remember that this comes out and hits this and pushes this over. So it looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah, but that's how it's got to be set up. And then this gets bolted on. Basically, the chain goes around here and it sets up on the go kart like that. But I have to move that sprocket over to here. Don't know, I'm going to put a 35 on it because this one looks a little bent. I have to check it out again. Uh, the motor mount, I do have to, to change up a little bit, so I did cut it out, as you can see, square holes. But yeah, that's how it has to go. This is a lab work 40 series torque converter. Uh, it's pretty weird. It looks different. It's it's weird. All right. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's